a quite a quite explosive uh, Lagrante. I, <laughs> I, I need an anesthetic at the end of my condom. <laughs> A guy like just wow. laughing, laughing, yeah. gas for every throw. Uh, <laughs> it's like, it's a, like a localized surgery. <laughs> wow! I, did, I inject laudanum directly into my penis immediately before. Dagenham Travel, which somehow came through COVID, somehow wins best business. This is from the Barking and Dagenham Post. Um, a Dagenham Travel agent has won Business of the Year uh, several days ago. Uh, saying in his speech that he didn't know how he survived COVID somehow. However, I like the idea that he's not talking about the business. He's just talking about his own personal <laughs> battle with COVID. Yeah. yeah, I've had it 16 times. <laughs> Doctors say I'm a, I'm a question of science. Mm. Who else is in the running to be the business of the year? Who's uh, the awarding body for business of the year? Yeah, it's we it's got this questions. guy. It's BAE Systems. <laughs> it's Microsoft. He's really done well. Let's not make fun of him too much. Yeah, he's really systems dagging him. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, he won yeah. over Pfizer. That's the thing, though. We have yeah. built the world's most dangerous geezer. <laughs> he's going to be released into Ukraine. <laughs> the guy in the Donbass who's got a knuckle duster, he's like, fucking Russians, I hate him. It's a Millwall jersey. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this man, <laughs> Tavarish Mayor, he says he's Millwall. <laughs> Well, did you know that we lost entire battalion? You know what happened two days ago is the owner of Millwall died. Headbutt? Ooh. Good question. Yeah. Fair <laughs> question. That's the Millwall equivalent of peacefully in his sleep. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. That's yeah. what he would have wanted. What he would have wanted. He got so angry about football, all his veins burst. Yeah. 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 Good. A good it football. Like something out of Tarantino. <laughs> No, it says um, it's bleeding from the eyes, yeah. <laughs> like but in a chimp shop. Yeah, he yes. he died in Cape Cod. Oh. oh come on, you can't do that if you're on Millwall, can you? Martha's Vineyard, it's beautiful <laughs> in the summertime. <laughs> oh wait, it I've wasn't a health thing. He literally of... he got in a car crash. Yeah, he got in a car crash. Oh, I feel uh, sad now. Yeah, Ranger, well, he's seventy, and he was oh, an American well, businessman that owned a football wait, team. You think there's oh. a cutoff for when it's sad to die in a car crash? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of do. It's like a Logan's Run thing. Something starts glowing in your hand, and then yeah. any tragedy that happens to you, it's sort of like, well. I, th I think there's also, you can be so old that if you die in a car crash, I'm upset at you for driving. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Driving in a car said, crash. 70 is quite young for both of those yeah, things. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. But if someone Bruce said, Springsteen is 76, and he ripped his T-shirt open at Hyde Park the other day and showed his nipple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How yeah. were they? Were they good? How's, 76. How's the it was weird. Doing? It was an Elton yeah. John concert. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce just there. He was right yeah. at the front. Yeah, oh, yeah. Fucking love Elton John. <laughs> <laughs> He's shouting, "You're the real boss." Yeah, really <laughs> high praise. A Millwall tattoo. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, so basically, this American guy. So it's, this is quoted in the BBC. Barrelson was trapped inside the vehicle and was quote extricated by mechanical means. So you know that the police talked to the BBC based on that sentence alone. We extricated a gentleman. Uh, succumbed to injuries received in the crash. And uh, yeah, why is an American buying Millwall? That feels odd to me. That's a big cultural barrier to leap over. Are they getting? Are they getting like worked up because of Ted Lasso and what Ryan Reynolds is up to? Yeah. And stuff? Oh my God, you're you know so I mean? right. He bought it in 07. Like kindness. I love football and kindness. So I'm gonna buy the team Millwall. Do you know what it was? It was. It was probably the fucking the film Green Street. Yeah. I mean, that was actually yeah. West Ham, but their big rivals when, in the movie are Millwall, well, and in real life are Millwall. When they taught um, Frodo how to make a, a sort of Millwall brick out of newspaper and beat people up with it or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Frodo? Elijah... Millwall brick? Yeah. Do, you know, do you know the plot of do the you know film Green, Green Street? Street? No, what is that? What's, I have what's no Frodo's idea. name again? Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood is in oh, it, okay. and he's a kind American who gets turned into a hooligan. So it's like the opposite of American History X. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, it's so funny. It's, it's an American who drops out of Harvard and he goes to London for the summer. Where his like fre his like English friend, his brother is played by Charlie Hunnam, who is a West Ham football hooligan. Yeah. Except Charlie Hunnam is a posh man from the Newcastle area, and he's trying to do like a Cockney accent. Yeah. And throughout it, like it's not good. Yeah, he manages to sound less English than Elijah Wood during this film. Yeah. It's remarkable. It's like, you know those movies where it's like uh, oh American uh, guy is accepted by like the tribe, and because it's like Avatar. Mm. <laughs> yeah, 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 Green Street is like Avatar, but for hooligans. Mm -hmm. Arsenal, good football, shit firm. Tottenham, shit football, shit firm. Yeah. And they it's all plug like, themselves yeah. into a tree outside <laughs> the stadium. They, they, all, they all plug themselves into a yeah. sort of apparel store. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. So this is kind of a sequel. Like he goes back to America, he makes loads of money, and then he comes back and buys Millwall. Yeah. Well, 
it's it's strange. It's also um, Millwall is a publicly traded company. You can buy sh- we could buy shares in Let's Millwall. Let's buy shares in Millwall. Let's right, laptops shares. out, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna pump and dump Millwall. <laughs> we're, we're gonna we're gonna to get Reddit on this, and it'll be like GameStop. Yeah, but with Millwall, <laughs> people being closed out of their positions by like retail investor apps. Yeah, perfect. Like, they've pushed Millwall too far. Yeah, yeah. You can't you can't fucking invest in this. Skinheads like storming the Robin Hood offices, being it's a conspiracy by the banks to keep the price of Millwall down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was gonna say the um, the 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 thing that has been rattling around. I like local news, as many sort of watchers of any watchers or listeners to of anything I do know that I think local it's news. Because you're an authentic guy who loves local people. Yeah, I, this is why I'm gonna buy Millwall. Isn't technically yeah. all news local? Um, I, well, I mean, I guess so, but this is much more small scale local, the Barking and Dagenham Post, which also sponsors the Barking and Dagenham Business Awards. Mm. And my favorite category is, and this is one of these things that could potentially be almost universal, mm. which is, uh, the, <laughs> excuse me, I'll, I'll say it now, the business located outside Barking and Dagenham, but which trades in Barking and Dagenham Award. <laughs> And that one's gone to BAE systems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could really, you could give that Tesco. to Tesco. Yeah, that's Which Google. That one? Well, yeah. it was, uh, I, th- I think it's a... Now Google's banned in Barking and Dagenham. You can't get its Bing only. <laughs> yeah, it's, we're, we're an Ask Jeeves constituency. <laughs> R.I.P. Jeeves, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, no, the um, Baby Bank HQ. Yeah, it's a not-for-profit. It seems like it was given to a... The baby bank. I don't really understand the decision. That's where you can like hire a baby. Yeah. Yeah. They give you a baby, baby on like well, an interest plan. Well, you get a piece of paper that says you own a baby. But uh, if you ask me, that vault's empty. <laughs> <laughs> the baby's not in my house. It's in Milo's house. <laughs> yeah. the, the economy has tanked since we dropped the baby standard. It used to be that for every ten pounds that the Bank of England loaned, they had one baby in the vault. <laughs> you could request that baby. Mm. Yeah, you yeah. You said well. It, you need to understand that baby trades inversely to the rest of the economy, right? It's like yeah, if everything's yeah. going down, invest in baby. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Well, people will always need babies. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's, if, you, if you don't have gold, you can have baby. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just yeah. hearing raw static in my ears right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, do I have anything to contribute about this fake conversation <laughs> regarding stocks? I couldn't even do a joke thing. I know so little yeah, about yeah, the yeah, economy yeah, yeah, yeah. that I couldn't even do a little mm. joke about like, a bond, a baby yeah, yeah, that yeah. is a bond mm-hmm. as well, and mm-hmm. that the, the value, relative value of that yeah. would be what that mm-hmm. would be compared to say a stock that was a baby. No, now we're you know shorting a baby. The equation that prices babies is taught only at a number of universities <laughs> in France. Yeah, that is absolutely right. The baby's invisible hand. Can we stop? <laughs> this is all good stuff. I don't know why you guys so felt so uh, worried about it. Mm. Mm. Well, um, I can tell you that there is a secret beach in Leeds has been turned into a dumping ground by heavy drinkers and drug users, uh, huh. which is of concern, especially. I like as- the idea that the fact that they're heavy drinkers and drug users is only ancillary to what is essentially a business venture of them turning this beach into a dumping ground. Wow. You know how much people pay to dump waste? <laughs> we can buy so much drugs and alcohol with this. <laughs> There's a beach in Leeds? Well, yeah. yeah. You're not supposed to know that, apparently. <laughs> Are they just dumping their... Drugs and alcohol refuse, or is it like a large scale dumping problem? Because otherwise, it just sounds like people having a good time on the beach. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's because it's Britain, right? <laughs> yeah. There's an outrage that there's people having a nice time at a secret beach in Leeds. Yes. And yeah. we're going to want to train a high Mars on their position. Well, yeah. why, how is it a secret beach? Is well, it like underground? Is it like in a cave, like d- deep underneath the Hi Fi Club or something? Like, uh, what? <laughs> no, it's a, it's, it is just, I mean, if you want to, if you, I, I don't know how we're going to share this picture uh, with, <laughs> with the people. I'm going to pass my computer around and you're going to be able to, it in. yeah, you're going to see look. some, gosh, yeah. Is it secret the way like bars in London try to pretend that they're secret? <clears throat> we're putting secret in the name. Mm-hmm. I'm loving this secret old couple though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're very fun. Mm. They're, they're very are, upset. This is, this is a great example of local people in newspapers. Sorry, people in local newspapers face, not local people. In, <laughs> what are local people? Um, just like being with the offending item and looking furious. There's a great one of like when you get people pointing at stuff in local newspapers, like, uh, you know, council refuses to fix pothole for three years. and You've got an old couple who are stood angrily pointing at the pothole in the picture. Sometimes they do a kind of arms folded, like almost mm. like hip hop album cover thing yeah, that's next to good. the pothole. Like yeah. I'm not 
it's in the background, but not because I'm happy about it. Because I'm unhappy about it. There's also like compensation face, you know, like woman mm. who was injured by Frey Bento's pie and she's like <laughs> holding the pie and looking kind of sad in the picture. What's the injury you get from a Frey Bento's pie? Moral injury. Well, you know, <laughs> due, to, due to an injunction, we aren't actually allowed to say. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It, it's, I ate it settled in, out of court. It's, uh, it's, it's resolved. I ate it and it gave me an injunction. <laughs> yeah. uh, legally, we cannot what say the Frey Bento's pie is injured. Oh, they were picking up the litter. Now, the reason I also had this um, is because retired pediatrician Peter, 75. Mm. Peter, Peter, attrition, yeah. Yeah, retired Peter, attrition Peter, 75. He yeah. works on Peter's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, his name is Peter, attrition, and he's a retired. <laughs> uh, it says some strong words for energy drink manufacturers. Okay. He okay. said, here's a message to energy drink manufacturers. Oh. They didn't have to quote the whole thing, I think, did yeah. Leeds Live. Was he in front of a sort of black banner while he was doing it? This didn't fuel my gaming at all. <laughs> Holding up one finger. Yeah, there is a the message. Studio. Yeah, yeah. We gotta make money somehow. Uh, you're the a CEO of Monster Energy will learn. <laughs> your energy drinks are no good because people have the strength to carry the full can, but when they've had the full drink, they can't even carry the empty can home. Uh, he's, uh, he's done some good sort of sarcastic banter there, hasn't he, about littering. <laughs> he's thought of, this is a good joke. Is, wait. He's, sorry, he's not upset about the content of the drink. This is related to the littering so, story from so, before. Yeah. yeah so, no. Right. He wasn't a doctor being like, these are bad for you. He's no, literally, no. 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 So no. He's doing it. He's passing no. on to the newspaper. Okay. Classic bit of on the drive home banter. He thought about this for a long yeah. time. Yeah. He's gone, like, oh. I should call the Dagenham local press. Yeah. 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 But he's gone, oh, the drinks, uh, they say they give you energy, but, uh. And then they have the energy to pick up after themselves. His wife was like, David, mm -hmm. please. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those things he d you know for a fact he repeated multiple times. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The yeah, second yeah. a new person joined the group. He mm -hmm. was taking that around the party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah absolutely. That, <laughs> that slice of fun pie is getting handed out at every new opportunity. <laughs> I like also the logic that the energy drink companies are in some way culpable for the actions of people who drink yes. the energy drink. More like, like, caffeinated. <laughs> give them the energy to pick up after themselves. Put cocaine in it. Those people are very tidy. Like, can you imagine, like, you know, the guy, the same guy, he's like going to the, going to like the dogging woods and finding used condoms everywhere. And he's like, dear Jurex Corporation, <laughs> your well, sexual prophylactics are sending people into an orgiastic you... rage, which causes them to litter. Whereas people who raw dog, as God intended, don't feel the need to litter. He would say, uh, you say these condoms uh, allow people to be sensitive. Well, they've been very insensitive to the local environment. That would be his Her advantage. pleasure. My wife is furious. <laughs> <laughs> These are all in a notebook next to Peter's bed. He's waking Absolutely. up in the middle no. of the night. <laughs> Please delay condoms. Delay only one thing. Cleaning up after yourself. <laughs> They're just numb to their community. <laughs> and so in this conversation, we revealed what kind of condoms we each use. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I used to, I, I wear four numb ones because I don't want to feel anything. Yeah. I want to dissociate entirely. Yeah. I always admired the people who buy the numbing ones. They're so sensitive that even through a condom, they're like, no, I need more numbness. Well, like a, like a real, like a sort of vi Victorian dandy. Like, why even a, even the slightest <laughs> whiff of pussy would send me into oh, a quite a quite explosive uh, flagrante. I need... I need an anesthetic at the end of that condom. <laughs> a guy like just wow. laughing, laughing, yeah. gasping for every throat. Uh, <laughs> it's like it's a, like a localized surgery. <laughs> wow. I, did, I inject laudanum directly into my penis immediately before. I'm, yeah, I just so what what delicate sensitivities. I'm just impressed. If I numb my penis enough, I can pretend it is a man. <laughs> Father forbade me. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you this. I make the women wear these stovepipe hats. <laughs> Retired office worker Anne, voicing her frustration, said, We found a trolley today. Cans, bottles, snack packets. It makes you cross. Why can't they leave <laughs> their trolley where they've gone shopping? Yeah, that's why they've got a trolley. They've yeah. gone shopping. The, the more I hear from there? these elders, the more they're making good points. <laughs> I like to hear someone seeing a shopping trolley in a canal and shaking their head and going, Ah, uh, another shopper didn't make it home. <laughs> Just like <laughs> solemnly jamming a rifle in the ground and like marking a cross on for the, it. For the drunk shopper. Putting yeah. a little basket on the rifle. <laughs> little wire basket. How do they get in canal shopping trolleys? How does that, how does that start? I think people throw them mm. in. 
Just for <laughs> just for whimsical fun. Oh, it's Tracy yeah. Emin. <laughs> <laughs> Outside her art. Art, yeah. Yes, he's he's everywhere these days. Mm. I just don't know. That's actually where they come from, and all of the <laughs> grocery uh, stores have to harvest them out of the canals. <laughs> and you have lots of interviews of sort of trawlermen with sad eyes saying that, that the, the number of trolleys is declining yes, year on year. Yes, well, the water levels are going down, which is very bad for the wheels in particular. <laughs> trolleys need a certain temperature of water, and the trouble with climate change... It's yeah. a shame, yeah. It's not oh, talked yeah. about in, enough. Invasive species like baskets are coming in. <laughs> <laughs> you can, well, you can. your problem is with all the sewage dumping, now British trolleys... All these are being grown and then thrown out. Yeah. It's a shame. We're getting them mostly from France now. Yeah, it's yeah. a disgrace. Sometimes you have a hurricane and loads of trolleys will just fall from the sky <laughs> miles from the sea. You, get, you do get less trolleys in canals now. It's a shame. I think, mm. I think it's because of um, the, uh, those, those like, weird strips they have at the edge of supermarket car parks that don't let you push the trolley out. Yeah. Whereas back in the day, if they didn't want you to steal the trolley, they would make you put a pound yeah. in the trolley which I think had the opposite effect because it just made me feel like I'd bought a trolley <laughs> very yeah. cheaply. Like if I got the trolley for free, I would feel more obligated to return it. Like oh, I've been very graciously lent this trolley. Right. But yeah. when I've given them a pound, I'm like, I've bought. It's like when you hire a car, you're like, I'm going to bring this thing back fucked. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I feel like the um the a lot look. I read a lot of columns that compare lots of stuff to East Germany that doesn't have nearly the levels of healthcare that East Germany would have provided. But one thing I do think we are becoming a little bit more Stasi-like is in a lot of supermarket practices. Uh, for example, the, the locking of the trolley is one. This is my like old man. Is, this is my Leeds ble beach complainers. This is the most passionate I've ever heard you be about yeah. anything. And I've seen you in multiple long-term relationships. <laughs> an, old, an old German man at Asda, like, no. No. <laughs> You're ready to stand outside of the grocery store with your hands folded. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I'm going to stock image. Yeah. Front page. I'm going to point at the big Sainsbury's beside me. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Can you give us more examples apart from those trolley locking? Okay. Yeah, yeah of course I can. Is that, you. Uh, is that, you know, now you're expected to take your own little pricing gun around? Oh. You know? Yeah. I huh? don't care for that. Yeah, the, if you have both, you have oh, this is only that. outside London. This is the oh. thing. So oh. if you go to like a regional oh, supermarket, like the, big, the big Tesco. Uh huh. People talk of the big Tesco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you scan your own shopping while you walk around as you put it into the... I have to say, it's actually very convenient. You could do it with your phone <laughs> you can, as well. You can bag yeah. your shopping as you go around. You don't have to unbag it again at the till because you just it's all like connected to the yeah, pricing know. gun. I didn't know about they know. See, but this is my old person on the cover of the newspaper opinion is mm. that I don't want to use my phone for everything. Mm. Every time yeah, someone's like, use your phone for this, I shrimp like my posture hunches more and I like my shoes get more orthopedic and I just <laughs> become like more angry and old. And I'm like, I don't want to use. First of all, it's it's always dead. My phone's always dead oh, yeah. and it's going to be more dead if I have to like have it out to find out how much oranges cost or whatever. Yeah. I, I took great pleasure that my old, I had a sudden orthopedic shoe and hunch <laughs> posture when I went to a sort of bar and grill place and they, you could only order through an app. No. Oh, and I, I just it. I no. just said I, I said okay no. and I walked out. Like yeah. I just turned around and I thought, ha ha well, that's that's a <laughs> now I don't get anything yeah. I want. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you, man on minimum wage. Yeah. It's just like I'm losing the battles not be on my phone all the time with myself already. Anyway, yeah. I have like my phone is in black and white that I look at it less. I have an app that blocks social media apps and I'm still on that piece of shit like three, four hours a day. Yeah. Three, four hours a day. In terms of addiction, it's I'm like saying... spam emails in black <laughs> yeah. and white. I don't care. Just give me a hit. In terms of yeah. addiction, it's like, um, you can only order in this bar and grill if you have a cigarette with me. And you go, no, no, <laughs> exactly. I'm trying to not the do that. The phone equivalent of like smoking seeds and stems. <laughs> like, I'm looking at Apple stocks in black and white. <laughs> I, <don't care. laughs> I just need to feel something. Well, it's, it's, uh, Pierre and I were talking about this earlier, but when both of us are sort of stressed out, we like to look at a map. It's a... Yeah. I, I will I will open up a map and I will like look at a map of Ireland's sort of secondary highways. If I'm feeling a little oh, like yeah. men Ireland's love transport systems highway. actually. Sorry to gender essentialize, yeah. but I do yeah. think men love them. Oh god, they're so good to look Ireland's at. Ireland's secondary highways does sound like a sort of millennial girl book. Uh -huh. <laughs> like Yeah. One new... that everyone would be reading on Instagram for about two and a half months a where to... it'd be never spoken of again. It's the sequel to normal people. Mm. <laughs> uh, much more poorly received. <laughs> do you watch, do you want to look at a paper map? Uh, or does I it matter? I have several paper like, maps at home. Do you have an atlas home. at home for I when you're feeling several, stressed? I have ordnance survey maps at home. Oh. That I, 
can look at. Mines oh. of Rhodesia, right. <laughs> what's your favorite what's your favorite map app? Ooh. Um to look at okay, so it depends, right? When you do Google Maps, what what kind of do you look to do terrain photographs? Oh, I, do photo? the, I I this weirds everybody who knows me out. I I do the hard stuff on Google Maps. I use the satellite image. No. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I, Ronnie has once handed me his maps when we were out somewhere in another city when we were navigating to like a restaurant or something, and he had it on terrain. And I was oh. like, You're crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yes. This is crazy. Like this is illegible. It's also yeah. just like going, Well, that building looks like the top of it looks like this. <laughs> I'm looking at roofs. That's the behavior of someone with a manifesto on their computer. <laughs> That's the behavior of someone who's like, oh, sorry, I've just spent so long as a drone pilot that this is the only, <laughs> this is the only way I can understand the world. Yeah, yeah, just seeing just... the top of a woman's head and going, oh, I miss her. Yeah. <laughs> I wish Margeline would come back. Who? Margeline. Yeah, Margeline. It's a name. It's just a weird name. We're just going. Do I know you from somewhere? And then grabbing their head and bending it over. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Like a reverse gynecologist. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a close call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I, uh, I look at a map. Mm -hmm. uh, you look at a map. I look at a map. Yeah, I know you look at a map. I look at a map. Yeah, but it's for I, I yeah. I, I, I know historical maps though, more likely. Yeah. Mm. Well, like uh, I, Ireland's secondary highways pre nineteen ninety. Yeah, during yeah. the Easter Rising. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sure. But, uh, so we also we were having a similar discussion beforehand about like uh. And you go, you come into a restaurant, and you you can if it has a certain kind of tablecloth, you could also stand up and walk out because like, I can't hear anybody over the sound of this tablecloth. Yeah, this ta this tablecloth is paper and dimpled, <laughs> and, and that is so distracting to me. Yeah, I can't be in here. That's potentially a great restaurant though. If it's got a really bad tablecloth, that could be when the it's best the very Chinese thin food of your plastic life. sheets. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, if it's if it's an Asian place. Mm. I want a paper tablecloth. Mm. If I've learned yeah. from my my friend Bill, who's from Malaysia, that if you go in the Asian restaurant, and there's a cloth serviette. You get the hell out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going <laughs> to be terrible. Mm. And he's yeah. been right about that like five times in a row. So QR codes make me walk out of restaurants a lot, and they go in there, and they're like, "Why, sir? Just look at the rune mm. if you wish to know what to order." And I'm like, "No, no, no." <laughs> um, and what is funny is because it's like restaurants mostly started doing this after COVID. And then I'm like, can I just have a paper menu? And then they're like, no. And I'm like, motherfucker, I know you've got paper menus back there. Why are you lying? You didn't throw them all out. They're there. Bring me one. Wait, and so then they're they like, they didn't change the menu since COVID. Probably not. It's like it's like wagamamas. Come on. Like, what, like <laughs> where do we where do we stand on the thoroughly corrupted sort of sauce bottle? Still sticky from other users. I'm fine with that. Ugh. I can't stand that. I can't that. touch it. I can't Are you touch serious? it. I can't touch it. I wrap it in a in a what? paper napkin if Wait, I can. Wait, so how do you feel about this, uh, the the station at Nando's that's just communal sausage? I feel weird about I'm it. I'm not great on that, but what I hate is when it's like the salt that's on the table, and you go, "Oh, I just put some salt on my food," and it's like it's like it's been played with by a thousand toddlers. It's almost got jam Wait, it's a stickiness. A little pinch bowl for salt. In no, the no, 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 no. A shaker. shaker. Oh, the shaker is sticky. The shaker is sticky you touch from it. other users. Oh yeah, I mean it's, it's not great. You could the problem is you could hear your fingers coming off of that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that, yeah. That, that, that puts me right you off. You guys my lunch. have lots of sensory stuff, huh? Oh, you bet. Oh my god. If goodness. it was TikTok, I would diagnose you with something. Oh, you're too late. Diagnosed. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah. No, we're on TikTok all morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know how my doctor got TikTok when I was six, but he yeah. managed it. They got you a lot earlier than they got me. Riley's oh, yeah. got dengue fever. <laughs> I've got sickle cell anemia, according to TikTok. <laughs> my God, great, great on the malaria front, though. You're yeah. immune. Well, that's why that. you guys were so desperate for me to dab all the stickiness away from my body before we started recording. Yes, that will. Because I was like, where you know is this going? You pick up the old girl at the, the restaurant, stickiness. and it's like she's been handled by a yeah, thousand yeah, yeah, toddlers, yeah, yeah. and then you can hear a thumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's uh, it caused. Although when you when you mentioned a cloth serviette, uh, it reminded me of a um. Monica, you might remember a little town called Brantford, Ontario. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's near Paris, Ontario, mm -hmm. the Paris of Ontario. Can, can you summarize Brantford for us? It's near Paris, Ontario. <laughs> mm. Okay, yeah. Mm. See, uh, the, the thing to understand about Ontario is that it is Canada's Midwest, and much like the Midwest, a lot of it is pretty fucking bleak. Mm. Um, and Brantford is a town where my great aunt Ruthie sort of just was that's a scooby-doo sentence yeah great aunt ruthie yeah great aunt ruthie i had to stay in her old folks <laughs> home to get her diamonds <laughs> and she ran this failing amusement park yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. great aunt ruthie's old lady world <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then there was oh, her shit, one enemy that blasted <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> uh, yeah. One enemy, that blasted ape. Oh, bacon flavored mothballs. Let's yeah. go. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you go to you go to Great Aunt Ruthie's old lady world, and you you can ride the Zimmer frame gray candy mm. floss. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it's you just can, hair. Yeah, you get your, <laughs> you get your picture taken, and they can sort of rotate the thing you're pointing at. Sadly. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's nice. You'd be like, ooh, mommy, I'd I'd like to point at the bins. <laughs> you can you British can, theme park in Brantford, Ontario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 you, yeah. Can, you can just like take medication. There's just uh -huh. got one of those pill boxes that's like by the day of the week, and you just take well, whatever. Could be blood thinners, could be painkillers. No, they sell the candies. You buy you yeah. buy a pill, a seven day pill box of different like Mike and Ikes, yeah, or it's yeah, just yeah. in um the sort when of wooden original, barrels. Surely. Yeah. Oh, there's so many. Mm. Like, <laughs> you know, like in Disneyland where they have those wooden barrels full of plushies and things like that. You just, mm. that but filled with just it's medication. Just calcium. Just, <laughs> and they've got those trowels you use with pick and mix. You can get oh, an yeah, insurer yeah. slushy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're cooking with um, gas. My yeah. God, is it balanced. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most balanced slushy available. It shits yeah. all over 7 Eleven. You could live yeah. off that slushy. And you will if you have the insure slushy. If there's a 7 Eleven nearby, you will shit all over it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's very ugh, true. Ugh. No, terrible. And the, the roller coasters only for people with heart conditions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My, my nan drinks those insure milkshakes, but she doesn't keep them in the fridge. I mean, oh, they are, no. they're shelf stable. You don't have to keep them in the fridge. But I'm like, that's so, a room temperature milkshake no. is one of the most foul things I can possibly mm -hmm. imagine. But your nan is weird. <sighs> yeah. yeah. You've got a weird nan. Hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Hey. That's yeah. so bold to call someone else's nan weird. No, my nan is pretty weird. No, you, you have told me the strangest things about you. Like when she sort of just invents that she's made you food, even though you brought her a sandwich. It was very strange. Oh. Oh, yeah. That no. just sounds like all time. Do you think she oh, just yeah, has no, she dementia? Has dementia yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait, it's like it's mild. Mess. It's mild enough dementia that it's just funny. Like okay. it's like it just be like we, you know we, we we took we took some we went over to visit her and we took some lunch like we like we had like a rotisserie chicken and some bread and made ourselves chicken sandwiches yeah. and she's like what you, what you pour food over for I'd have fed you and we'd have been like no you wouldn't have you've not had food in the house in ten years yeah. we um, we're all good for room temperature going, milkshakes thank you she's going like, right. she's sort of like fussing around the fact that we're making this food and then she starts going like oh well did you enjoy your lunch anyway and then by the by the time we left she goes. I hope you liked the lunch. Sorry, it was all I had. She'd gone from like, <laughs> how dare you bring food into my house? Yes. To, I hope you enjoy the lunch I made. You. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, uh, Great Aunt Ruthie in um yeah. and right. Brant no Brampton or Brantford. There, there's both. Yeah, and they're near enough to each other that yeah. it's like mm, same thing. Yeah, yeah. so it's I, uh, I would occasionally have you the obligation. You know, obligation visits. You know, you know these these types of visits. Uh, where I would sort of be bundled into a car and driven in a direction of Ontario I wouldn't ordinarily go. Even though the relative has gone weird. Yeah. Well, she never, I don't think she ever went went funny. Well, she had that theme Yeah, park. you're like Paul Gascoigne, you're there with your chicken and your fishing rod yeah. going over to your weird relative, sure. <laughs> um, and nearby her was the single worst Chinese restaurant in the entire world that we never failed to... My parents are very particular about, like... It won that league table in, like, Vice magazine or whatever. Yeah, yeah, the, the Tom Usher went... Um, yeah, yeah. Cloth, and, na cloth napkins, terrible. And it was, it must have been a sort of an embassy of Britain in Canada because it's the only place I've ever seen a kind of, I don't know, a chest size plate of um, pure brown mm. with gravy. Oh. Just, just brown and gravy. With Chinese. Yeah, at a, at a Chinese place, which you wouldn't be surprised to hear about in, say, I don't know, somewhere called Brampton here. Yeah, were there to be a Brampton here? Maybe there is. It feels like saying you get it a greasy spoon. What you never had a Chinese and gravy? Yeah, <laughs> like, rice and gravy. Play in Millwall Football Club. You've never had a Chinese and gravy. Fucking hell, son! You <laughs> toilet. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming down the SE4 calf with me right now. <laughs> but was it actually gravy, or was it that thing where sometimes they have something on a Chinese menu that says gravy, but then it turns out it's like sort of raw egg white and and. Yeah, you know, they'd have that here, but not really. I think every Canadian small town has the same sort of thing that the British small towns have, which is that like, it, it's theoretically a Chinese restaurant or a Thai restaurant or whatever. But the people from the small town, uh, white people from the small town, are just like, "I'd like sushi now, please," because yeah. I've heard of Asia before, and they end up having to like mutate their menu to yeah. include the increasingly bizarre demands of their confused patrons. Mm. Accidental fusion. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Unwilling fusion. Yeah. There's yeah. still yeah. fries on that menu. There's always, always. fries on the menu. There's going to yeah. be fries there. Yeah. See, 
We used to have that in the town I grew up in. And this not Aunt Ruthie, Aunt Ruthie's old lady world. Um, yeah. yeah, great Aunt Ruthie, actually. Um, old lady world. How come you never visit? Sorry, that's the, <laughs> yeah. uh, the beautiful the Canadian wow. accent. I don't like Chinese yeah. and gravy. It's traditional. It's just like being home listening to that. Yeah, I'm walking yeah, wow. here. I'm walking wow. here, eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. You both only have, you have many accents, but for Why North America. Why don't you shut up and eat your maple syrup? <laughs> <laughs> He's pouring you a big bowl of maple yeah, syrup. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, you grow yeah. big and strong like the Canadian redwood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't think we have redwood. I can only, I can, I, can, I don't think I can do a Canadian hey, there accent. There must I can be do... redwoods on the west coast uh, of Canada. I don't surely. know about them. I, I only know about the depressing bit. Uh, the sort of the bit that's mostly brown. Yeah. Like that's the, uh, the uh, southern Ontario is mostly a big bowl of brown. The endless mm. prairie. Uh, well, no, it's sort of. It's not even prairie. It's oh. just sort of like not a mountain and not a valley it's, mm. and not a prairie. It's just like Scr yeah. scrub, oh. scrubby, scrubby. Yeah. 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 about the garrison mentality. Um, is that a book you're selling? You not? <laughs> no, sorry, my my, my friend, my friend uh, studied <laughs> film in Toronto, and she said that uh, they were learning about Canadian cinema and how like Canadian cinema has something called oh, the garrison wretched. mentality, oh, it's and like it Canadian talks cinema. about these like really hopeless vast sort of fields of nothingness and that's what it sounds like you're describing it's very big and empty yeah, yeah. well because it's the garrison mentality yeah, I, I, love that. I remember someone who was it someone was talking some writer was talking about um because slipknot are from uh, iowa or somewhere aren't they mm. yeah. idaho idaho well they're from wherever has the state fair iowa state fair iowa yeah. state yeah. fair they're Iowa's from iowa favorite sons the butter cow and they were saying how it makes sense if you look at the midwest in winter because mm. it's just like stubble that's been burned in a gray sky forever and a bit of rain and you go oh right death metal this makes sense whereas in, <laughs> whereas in summer it's like corn and fairs and and uh, smiling chi children yeah. and dungarees and you go man this doesn't make sense but in winter yeah, you really like, don't yeah. see scrubby and cold you don't and wet. see death metal really as coming from like a place where you'd chew on a hayseed but yeah. also you don't really think of death metal as coming from a place where you'd have like eel party hey eh? i'm going to an eel party in september what does what? that mean? Is this, is this some is torrid... only legal in Japan? <laughs> Every place that you've mentioned, Ruth and Ruthie's old lady world and an eel party, both sound like they could either be like a very wholesome Sunday with your family or the grossest thing that ever happened <laughs> yeah. in Berlin. Yeah, 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 yeah. an eel party with my Aunt Ruth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's where they're on field. Yeah. <laughs> I, what's wrong with you? You've not touched yeah. your eels. That's what, that's what what's G an eel party? That's what G-A-R-E-P stands for on, on field. <laughs> it's a great, yeah. it's a, a great Aunt Ruth yeah. eel party. <laughs> Yeah, I'm on uh, Eeld. What's Garep? Oh, you idiot. That stands for Great Aunt Ruth Eel Party. You're not, <laughs> you're not on the scene at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's one of the... It takes over Electroworks every fourth Sunday. <laughs> uh, no, an eel party is just a, a start of the eel season in Sweden. Of course. Then you right. get together on the beach and the eel you season. eat a bunch of eels. Are you smoking them? Um, I assume, I hope. <laughs> He's smoking it's really, them. It's, it's, it's really bad for your health. To, an eel. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, I'm going to have to open up my WhatsApp, uh, and I'm going to look at, okay, I'm looking okay. at the group. for. Uh, it's You're called 2023 Eel Party. Oh, okay. that eel was pretty strong. Fogging. <laughs> 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 you got There's to pass links. the eel to the left. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta scroll where, so far up. So where are you eel flying? Me Danish. Eel party preference. Neither. <laughs> yeah. They're voting. Oh, they have a doodle for the eel party. Uh, right. A hit smoking with Henrik. He front loads the eel. Oh, he's always <laughs> bogarting the eel. He gets it all and then passes it to us. Nothing left. So it's it involves four to five different you eel dishes. You have to arrive somewhere is called it, Anus on a Friday. Where? Sorry, where? Anus. Anus. Yeah. Yeah, on yeah. Friday. I'm coming to, uh, You've been to invited to have in my anus. <laughs> You've been invited to an eel party in a town called Anus, <laughs> and you're you're having us believe that this is not. Riley, you're gonna get midsummer. They're gonna put you in a bear <laughs> costume and set fire. Riley, at what point do you start asking questions? <laughs> Look, I just do what I'm told. You're being invited to an eel party in a Swedish town called Anus. You're behaving. <laughs> You're Have you wronged the people who invited yeah. you to this? No, yeah. there's some friends from university. Yeah, yeah. but did like, was there a pact a long time ago? Or? <laughs> Don't show worry, Raleigh, we're from a very normal yeah. place in Sweden called Anus. Yeah. Oh, we did the eel party. Yeah. Yeah. To, show you there's, to show you there's no hard feelings about you sleeping with my wife, I'd like you to come to an eel party in Anus. Mm. Just to show you that we're all friends now. 
You're behaving with very strong start of horror movie energy uh, going to this. Start off, it's a Swedish tradition. You help us build the flat park of furniture. <laughs> like building it and it slowly starts to resemble more and more of a coffin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a very special kind of Swedish coffee table. We use it for smoking the Guys, eel. it will take a place on a small shack down at the beach. This is terrifying. We're are you, really are really you being invitation. molested as an adult? <laughs> it says You're small shack. you to a windowless shack in Sweden. For an eel party. An eel party is a southern Swedish tradition which only really happens on the East Coast. It involves four to five different eel dishes all cooked with different styles accompanied by Don't drinks. Don't Google it. You won't find anything. But that's because yeah. it's so niche. And a dip in the sea. Uh, forget about cray- crayfish parties, midsummer, or whatever. Forget about crayfish forget parties. Forget about midsummer? They're literally saying forget about... Okay. <laughs> Don't, Don't think, think about, about midsummer. Don't even midsummer. think about midsummer. In case you've seen the film Midsummer, it's nothing like that. So don't even be worried. It's going to be the opposite of that. Everyone <laughs> will live. It's a fun bear costume. <laughs> <laughs> so just for fun. And we're going to a house which is not on fire, so don't even <laughs> worry about it. Uh, I have spoken to our family friend Magnus the Eel Fisherman. Uh-huh. Good. Good. Yeah, and dates have been blocked for us. I'm looking forward to eel party. Magnus is your cause of death. <laughs> yeah, no. the first it's morning. Nice to yeah, the first morning will be Magnus refusing to meet your gaze. It's gonna be like White Lotus <laughs> season two, where you're having too nice a night, and everyone's providing lovely stuff for you, and it's just they're trying to give you one last good yeah. night before you become mm. the eel yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 that yeah. they smoke. Yeah, oh, <laughs> you're gonna no. be yelling, "These Swedes, they're trying to kill me." <laughs> <laughs> To, to Magnus, who is unsympathetic and incomprehending. <laughs> Magnus is hitting you with one of those hooks they use to kill seals. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, what can, happens in the Agnus? You spend like most of the first 24 hours trying to understand what Magnus's surname is so you can add him on LinkedIn. They're like, he has no other name. <laughs> he is called Magnus. We don't know where he comes from or where he goes after the eel party. We this see him once a year. Very yeah. South African. We see him. I'm, I'm being Magnus. Ge- I'm being generous at a time. <laughs> yeah. I come here from Durban every year for the eel festival. <laughs> <laughs> I need someone who's seen terrible things. That's who you'd sit next to on the flight to Sweden, and he'd be way too into you and the fact that you were going, because he'd mm. be excited that he's sitting next to the sacrifice. No. <laughs> Now yeah. I'm all weird about going to the eel party. This is a good movie. <laughs> it's a good movie, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Sat next to a guy on a plane, he's like, don't worry, it doesn't get too gory. Nothing like being in 3-2 battalion in Angola. And then there's just like a <laughs> silence for like 35 seconds. Uh-huh. He's like, anyway, have you been to Sweden before? <laughs> <laughs> I actually haven't. Oh, That's nice. Sorry, I, was re- I wasn't responding to him. I, was, no? I actually haven't been to Sweden before. Mm. So, or well, again. you're never going to so, leave. So. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to prep lots of like sort of Austin Power style jokes you can say about the town of Anus? Um, where you go, it's hard, it was hard to get in here and uh-huh. things like that. Or you guys seem very tight. Or, you know, ha ha. Why mm. would I say? I just address, tight, gather naked, everyone really. in the town. No, just little things you drop in the conversation with uh-huh. the locals from Anus. Uh-huh. Okay, you guys seem very tight. That's a you're way a to tight, get. You're a tight bunch here in Anus. <laughs> That's a way to get killed is to come and insult them. You're getting killed anyway. We weren't going to kill you, but now you've insulted the town of Anus with your bawdy jokes. In Sweden, it's not a funny name at all. Now the idiot's in penis up the road. Yeah, it's like, would you behave this way in Dildo, Newfoundland? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a real place. Is it really? Yeah. That's fun. Is it where they're from? Uh, where who's from? Dildos. Dildos. They invented the dildo. No, I, I don't know why it's called that. I just know that it was a really good day I, in like grade no, five it was geography. A town that was founded by a woman who sang it. White Flag. I love the idea of a re- guy in like uh, those like waders yeah. with a really strong Newfie accent oh, yeah. explaining how proud he is that his family invented the dildo. They cut that song from Come From Away, yeah. but <laughs> yeah. it's an important Canadian heritage yeah. moment. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. fact that there's a Canadian musical about 9-11 it's never ceases. So crazy. So funny. <laughs> Apparently it's very good. Okay, mm. I was actually fighting about this last night <laughs> with yeah. a friend because he was saying that it's a really good musical yeah. and the it's it's a crazy, it's crazy. Yeah, the staging in the West End that had Rob Lowe as Muhammad Atta blew me away. <laughs> <laughs> Were you making that up as a comedy bit? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I it's all all need you. to learn to land if you can fly. <laughs> Rob Lowe is Muhammad Atta. <laughs> The Telegraph calls it the musical of a generation. <laughs> it is crazy to see the opening of that musical. It's like a 10 minute long sort of like very wholesome, like welcome introduction to the concept of Newfoundland. It's like yeah. we're all here at the potato market, the 
beautiful sunny Newfoundland day. Do it in and the you're voice. watching it. No, I simply I can't. Mm. They'll never let me back in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, it's one of those things in Canada that actually you sh- it's one of those things that you shouldn't do is a Newfie accent. Yeah. Oh, why? Oh, really? Well, it's not nice they'll, to them. they'll put you in the eel and smoke you. <laughs> are, you, do you are they so... Like, That's the most of... Canadian reason. Well, it's not very nice <laughs> to do it. Oh. Um, yeah, racism <laughs> against white people. Yeah. No, it's <laughs> actually like... like if if you're like a like, I don't know like an English person, you go up to Scotland, and you start doing a Scottish accent yeah, at them. It. It's a little bit like that, mm. but that's to do with violence, not yeah, kindness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yes. You can do it down here. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Just like if, if you're in Glasgow, maybe fucking knock it off. But you know, yeah. Yeah, unless yeah. unless you're North American, they let you get away with it. Doing the Scottish accent. Yeah, because it's just like, oh yeah, you're you know, you're you're from Canada as far as I'm aware. Hey, you know you're all right, laddie. Hey, say, do you want to go to an eel party? <laughs> <laughs> you ever smoked an eel, pal? <laughs> I've got a cracking party going on on the coast of Ayrshire. <laughs> you join me in the back of this panel van. <laughs> <laughs> just hop down into this oubliette and we'll start the eel party. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, sorry, you were talking about Oh no, I was just gonna say they do this beautiful, wholesome introduction. It's like ten minutes long, all the characters characters are like smiling and singing and laughing and like you know when in a stage play when they like slap each other on the back very uh, like intensely yeah, 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 very yeah. warmly yeah very like hello my brother vibes that's happening constantly wow and then at the end of that you're just sitting there being like and the next thing that happens is 9-11 mm-hmm. it's a cave in Tora Bora everyone's hugging going we pulled it off boys <laughs> it's like it's like the control room in Apollo 13 when it re-enters they're all like taking off headsets going yeah yeah <laughs> like just footage of the second tower collapsing they're like woo <laughs> it's like a Nasheed playing yeah. We're, just, yeah. we're just like the way, like you say, with all the backslapping and stuff, you get that kind of musical thing where it's like, today's a very special day. Like they're all sort of really building it up. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you have such a musical, you have the soul of a musical actor. Do you think? I think so. You, you might be the rudest it. thing you've I ever seen. I was going to say, ouch! <laughs> ouch! <laughs> Meow! <laughs> You, have a, you, you really I can't imagine to me. anything. Is it yeah, because I constantly song. sing to myself? <laughs> Number one, yes. Yeah, Number two yeah. is you constantly sing to yourself, and I know this from having spent some time around you. Yeah. You constantly sing to yourself in patter. Yeah, I do. Yeah. You never sing to yourself just like a normal pop song. Mm. You're always it's Gilbert and Sullivan every time with you. <laughs> I, f- I find it really funny to sing about what's going on because it's such a stupid. I d- really dislike it when I watch it. But I find it really funny. Yeah, I find it really funny. <laughs> I think it's because you have really yeah, good no. posture. I agree. Yeah, I oh. think so. Yeah, yeah you like, have really good posture, so you, yeah, it's definitely... Well, you mean like Gilbert sort of... Sullivan is the funniest musical theatre as well. Mm-hmm. There's yeah. something sort of... Pretty pretty almost, it's school. almost like a parody of musical theatre. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it's sort of... It, it's what you would do... To make fun of musical uh, theatre. Yeah, I just... always think of HMS Pinafore whenever that Same, is... I always think about HMS Pinafore. <laughs> I am always thinking about late at night. <laughs> <laughs> just just like, around. if I was the greatest captain of the of the King's Navy, what would I be like? <laughs> <laughs> people, uh, look, everyone thinks they're going to be the ruler of the Queen's Navy, but in reality, most people are just sisters, cousins, and aunts. <laughs> yes. There you go, that's a deep cut for the Pinafore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's something really funny to me about singing for ages about nothing in such a kind of oh, do, 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 sort of way. <laughs> yeah. About just who you are? Yeah. 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 Or just about, you know, types of hat or something. Yeah. You just yeah. go, yeah, what yeah. is happening? You're, you're a little I girl. I am a high ranking naval officer and you don't yeah. get here with a little buggery. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's kind of... Yeah. Yeah. See, you <laughs> too. Is that real? You too. <laughs> <laughs> it might as well be. Yeah, no, I the, was like, that, the, you the could totally like, sell me I'm that. the ruler of the Queen's Navy the and there's, there's all these women with him who keep chatting and going, we are his sisters and his cousins and his aunts. And that is real. <laughs> the best, the best parody of it is the the South Park bit where there's all the guys who work in the cigarette factory singing, mm. and they're going, like, "When we work here, all howdy laddy day," and it's all about how like they're really proud to give people cigarettes that give them a nice thing to relax at the end of their howdy laddy days. Yeah, I like when the song is just introducing types of people at the market. Yes, exactly. That kind of energy of just like a woman who has one line in the whole play, and yes. it's just like eggs. Yeah, and then yeah, she yeah. Moves on. Or she just <laughs> leans like in. It's like Good Morning Baltimore or yeah. Oklahoma yeah. or that one song in Anastasia, the mm-hmm. yeah. the, the, the cartoon. Uh-huh. Some yeah. rumors in St. Peter's for anyone. Yeah, 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 of course, yeah. of course. Yeah, I know what you mean. People whose job is just to lean in and go, I don't forget about the corn, and then yeah. they just you never see them or again. Or when they're doing the a body joke, and they're like, and that's why he's on the left, and you're like, oh, okay, uh, that fucking musical humor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> where it's just like, I'm the mayor's wife, and everyone titters. Yeah. Oh. It, it started yeah. as and that's shitting your, on musicals, but you guys and that's love my, musicals. That's your soul. And that's yeah. my soul he's yeah. talking about. And oh. you're fighting against your nature. Yeah. You Maybe that's be, why I hate it so much. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the problem. You and see, the you sit down, and you see yourself reflected back at yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I'm the ruler of Al-Qaeda, <laughs> the son of a Yemeni builder. But that's why it's, that's why it's so dangerous to I tell someone about themselves. I am the very model of a modern Saudi billionaire. There you go. <laughs> That's one for you. We got we got the cameraman laughing. We got Tom giggling. I've hired twenty men. I fear that one may be unreliable. <laughs> I'm the I'm the very model of a model Saudi billionaire. I've hired I've hired some men in caves to something something through the air. Like there you go. Okay. We're, okay. we're getting to 9/11 oh, yeah. the musical this here. This is now. Oh. the next Hamilton. Now we're cooking. <laughs> and I'm not yeah, afraid yeah, to say yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> But everyone's I've, played by white people. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 and that's what's sort of yeah. subversive about I've it. I've hired 20 men to fly a plane through the air, but they don't need to land or take off. Yeah, it doesn't scan. It doesn't mm. scan. We're going to work. We're, I think. Yeah, we can work this out. Give us, give us half an hour and a do piano. Come from away too. <laughs> Yeah, That's... come from away too from the other perspective. Yeah, the prequel. You know when they do those like, come uh, from... it's um, it, it's it's like it's like ancient Greek myths but told from the woman's perspective. Yeah, it's like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. but it's oh, gonna yeah. be like nine eleven from the perspective of the hijackers. Or it's just come from away too, and it's just the raid on the Bin Laden yeah. compound. That's come from oh, away yeah, three. Yeah. Everyone's Mohammed, coming from somewhere Mohammed, else. That's the it's theme. a big day today. Don't forget your box cutter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I knew, the thing wife. is, when I walked into this room today, I knew exactly this is where it would end. I, know really? I feel like I, I'm so close to just taking a piece of paper and unwrapping it, and it's just come from yes. away too. <laughs> yes, you're like, you're like Darren Brown. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can all open your envelopes now. Do you want, wow. I don't know how these are going to get released in what order. Do you want to do that next time? Yeah, I would love to. You write down where we get by minute whatever this is. Yeah. And then we do a little drum. We're, we're coming up with segments, so we're sort of coming up with segments on the fly, really. Mm. Do you want to hear one more thing about the Leeds people? Oh, yeah. 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 Um, oh, yeah. Howard. Uh, there's a picture of Howard. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show everyone Howard. Um, he's, now he's smiling, uh, he's though, happy. which I don't, I don't approve of. Yeah. Not the, whole, the whole point is not that, isn't it? Mm-hmm. These really guys. Ooh. Howard looks like he's, he's had an amazing day. He, he looks like a puppet of a British man. Hey, you know what he looks like? Yeah. Um, he looks like the driver from Thunderbirds. Mm. Well, he's happy because some of the cans and bottles left by the revelers at the secret beach were full, and he's more than pleased to take them home and empty them himself. I'm going to get fucking lit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going That's to get your leads accent? I'm off my <laughs> How tree. How is this man? Yeah. He's claiming to have the moral high ground, and a large part of the article with a photo is devoted to the fact that he trolls through brush to try and find mm-hmm. booze to take home. <laughs> he's, picking up, he's picking up like, like the ends of cigarettes and he's like, oh, I gotta smoke the rest of it. These people have soiled the entire dogging environment. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why? I, can, I can scarcely get a hard on looking at all this litter. These, <laughs> these idiots didn't even drink all their booze, <laughs> said the upstanding citizen. <laughs> Hey!